What's up guys, Skyrunder here, and welcome back, of course, another talk to video, which is truly, Chris, hey. And yeah, Blaine has been on everybody's mind lately, um, definitely mine. Um, I'll be honest and say that I've been, I've been very frustrated with this situation. For, for different reasons, actually, but it, it, it comes to those kind of situations where you don't believe the person is telling the truth and avoiding questions and more so trying to deflect, you know, blame to others. That things, things like that bother me a lot. And um, I want to try to immense why that bothers me so much. I'm actually trying to avoid the situation uh, or at least talk about it. Because I was actually genuinely mad and probably couldn't focus on the points that actually bothered me. I'm just being lash lashing out basically against nothing. Now, I probably lash out against nothing anyway, but this time at least I'll focus on why I'm being frustrated. As I do believe, I, at least I myself want this out of my chest. And, uh, well, I guess the short story here is Blaine, a person who is actually a big Pocketuber, which I didn't know about, with 80,000 subscribers. Now, we focus on different things, it's not too weird that we never meet, met each other, more me to him than him to me. However, um, 80,000 are a very respectable amount of subscribers, and it's one of those things that make you think that a person has done a few things right in his life, and um, should be respected for that. It's not often the case, but one, I assume, <laughs> always that's the case. Um, now. All I got to heard was that um, he was created a bot that he was uh, has built for. So you can pay a premium to uh, get a hacked Pokemon that uh, you get for free, or you know, had to pay for it, but you get you know, the showdown case basically. I heard about this bot roughly two weeks ago as I joined a league in UBL, and this was available. I got this from Duncan that he was collecting, or he was with some developers that actually was setting this up. He was not involved more than the service as far as I was aware, but um, he was able to provide information on how to help us in the league to get Pokemon out. Um, a generous thing and clearly for free. And um, now I heard this same service now was a paid service of $5 from Blaine's Discord. And um, I heard that the developer from one, one of the developers lashed out and uh, Blaine ended up blocking him and blocking actually Duncan. Um, um, him himself said that the reason he had to set a premium price for it, even though he doesn't own the service himself, was to avoid overloading the service. Of course, this is a lie. Um, it's just a way to not try to say the honest thing, which is, I want to make money. This seems like a very easy way to make money. Um, hell, <laughs> I even considered it. It makes sense to do. He is legally um, able to use this program as it is free software or free code. And uh, <clears throat> there's really nothing about that. Like, he wanted to really, really focus on that. You know, he has not stolen the code. And yes, he hasn't stolen the code. He is allowed to make money out of it in how scummy and unfortunate it seems to be. It, it really, f I mean, just saying it seems so weird for me. Um, but yeah, basically that's it. Uh, he said that he set it up and went to sleep. When he woke up, he woke up to all this drama. Um, I hardly believe that. I very much so think that, you know, they debated a bot, they set it up, they created an account to make money. Like, that takes a few hours at least. Shortly he went to bed, but uh, I could only assume when he woke up to the backlash, he decided to just block the persons who really, really was ridiculing him, um, not to take responsibility and hope this thing calms down. Well, it didn't, and <laughs> I guess that's a good thing, as it ended up being that he created a different bot that was for free. Now, clearly the bot itself got overloaded and eventually had to actually shut that down. Um, <clears throat> Which, you know, in its own right, like, it, it's one of those things that at least, you know, he's not making money out of those people who were, well, obliged to actually pay the fee of $5. It's not a great amount of money, but one thing that really bothers me here was that due to the overloading of the site or his Discord, he, uh, he shut it down. All of it. No bots, nothing. And, um... Uh, 
the people who paid that premium of five dollars do they get their money back? No. No, they don't. Uh, he was very clear with the no refund. However, he wanted to share the community. And you know, when somebody said they wanted to share the community, you know what I was thinking? Because when I listened to his video, which is of course gonna be linked down below of you know the truth, the story. Um, I was thinking, all right, so he gives them the money he earned here to charity. I, I get that, you know, that's probably the best thing to do to avoid controversy. No! <laughs> he gives away $100 or $500 in total to five streamers. That doesn't seem to have it all that bad. Patters, we already know him, a great YouTuber. Uh, giving him $100, record a reaction from Patters and his reaction. You're welcome, buddy. You get this money. If Patters knew where those money were possibly coming from, would you think he would be open to mind about that? I hardly think so. Then we have Carson, uh, which playing Fortnite, um, gave him $100. And then we have Emre, we have Sean and Ninja, and then we have uh, Sim Life. All those who got money. <laughs> if they knew what they were a part of, would have been so open-minded about it. He's basically um, the people he he scammed basically since they are not getting their money back for something they pay for. He used that money, which hardly is it, it's uh, it's impossible to think he got five hundred dollars. It wouldn't mean hundred people paid him, uh, but that that would be insane in those few hours that it was up. But anyway, it does reflect that he gives them money, making them. <laughs> liable for his action. He he basically defined it as he's giving back the money that he scammed people off. And him so being upset of obsessed of not being called a thief, well scamming money is stealing money. So you're absolutely a thief. It doesn't matter how many people you think you're or um, it doesn't matter how many people you scam basically. And not that they get their money back for something they pay for is an absolute shitty thing to do you're an absolute asshole for doing something like that you should definitely have getting this money to, to them or if not that at least give it to charity i was hoping you know to the people who were uh, abused by king nappy what an excellent chance of actually bringing back the community you know we care for the people that has been abused no no he took this chance of giving money to people who may or may not actually be influential if patterns mostly for sure to further himself, I mean, how big of an ego do you have to get to stream your and their reaction that you did this? When you give away money, you are humble. You are doing that without furthering your own ego. You look at me, I'm giving you guys this. You just look like a one very egocentric person while doing so, and it's... Oh, it's nasty. And one thing I really want to tackle is, since he's a father himself, you know, I have a daughter. It, it would have bothered me a lot knowing that she would have paid money for something that I know is free. Um, and he said that you know, his audience isn't you know, under 13. His, most of his audience are older. Possibly. We also know that, you know, when you make content to people, to people this time, you have to define that, you know, they're not for kids. Which means that you're not going to have any type of um, diagram about that. But more so, you can't guarantee a kid hasn't paid for this service as you had no intent of limiting that payment. Saying that your fans are in a different age doesn't define who people who have paid. Who were the ones paying? How old were Do you even know yourself how old they were? Possibly not. Most likely not. Most likely didn't even care. And that is what's bothering me, is that you really took this chance to get extorting, basically, and scamming people for money just because you thought you had an opportunity of doing something that was unique. Well, it wasn't. People called you out for it, and you tried to deflect the blame on that you got invited by somebody else, and then you're giving them away the money that you possibly could have gotten from the scamming to bring back the community. But what is community? No, it's five persons. It is five person i'm sorry the community is much much broader than that and if you want to focus on something focus on people that actually are suffering not people that already have it good the absolute scummiest thing i've ever seen and i'm still being so upset about it as it is so frustrating to see people with 
with some success, honestly, just getting away with things that are so scummy. Did he redeem himself? Absolutely not. He just kept digging and I don't agree with the way he did this. Um, I mean, this guy's gonna be around for a lot longer time and I'll follow him closely as I really hope he does change. But if not, this has been one rough watch. Um, 48 hours of absolute maddening behavior, even criminal at times considering scamming people for money is not the best thing to do. And calling it something else, it doesn't help. These people that paid you did not get their money back. You scammed them. You are an absolute thief. For being so obsessed by the idea of not being, not stealing code, well, stealing money instead, that is not much better. Actually, the code at least was free. They paid you for something you never gave them. Shame on you.